What is up, YouTube? Trade Mo James here, coming at you with a nice little recap video for Microvision stock, ticker MVIS. We're gonna make this an under five minute video, or try to at least. All right, so let's start, let's get into this real quick, all right? So we are at the golden zone off this move right here. Let's draw it in real fast for you guys so you guys can see this. There's a few things we're gonna talk about, and then we're gonna hop off of here and let you guys uh, have a good night, all right? So check this out, golden zone right here off this move, all right? We have tested it one time today already. Let me zoom in real fast so you guys can see this. All right, we did test off the golden zone one time right here on this candle reverse, and now we're retesting again. The two things I notice here on this move are that we have two trend lines. All right, we got one trend line here. All right, and then we have the other trend line. Even better, right there. All right, so what's going to happen here is basically just there's only a few options, right? Number one, we get in the golden zone, consolidate, and then go from there. Number two, we break trend and come down and test the trend line again which happens to be right next to this 50 SMA. All right, that, what that's gonna do is not gonna be the end of the world, first of all. If we break trend and come down and test the trend line here and then bounce, that's actually gonna give us a nice uh, confirmation that we're in a reversal, right? We need three touch points to verify a trend. That would be the third one. One, two, three. That gives us three touch points, all right? So that would not be the end of the world. Um, and that's really the only two things that could really happen here at this point. I mean. You know, I guess the other thing would be the third one would be we get up in the golden zone, and then we just break out and just rip. That would be the third one. But that's kind of what we're looking for at this point, right? We're going to see if this inner trend line holds up and takes us into this golden zone. All right. Once we get in there, we'll have to, you know, see what price is doing and what it wants to do from there. But right now we got to get into the golden zone and close on a 30 plus minute, a uh, 30 minute plus time frame. So 31, four hour, whatever. Um, let's go to the daily real quick. All right. Let's go to the daily real fast. So the daily time frame, all right, looks this has the same thing going on. Okay, we're up at the golden zone still in the daily. Uh, we have three huge blue candles, nice movements in the last couple days. No resistance hardly. Why is that? Because we're jumping right out of this demand zone right here. This is obvious. All right, little demand zone jump right out of here. I can pull this to the left. You'll see a bunch of touch points out of this zone. All right, can't make this stuff up. All right, there's just a lot of touch points ripping out of the zone. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, another one. So it's just every time it comes down to this level it likes to rip right you see that you see that with your own eyes all right um one hour time frame let's go here you see the 50 sma below us okay now here's the thing actually i want to go back to the daily real quick because i want to talk about this if we get above this golden zone what's right above us you see this right here you see this 50 sma right above coming down okay if we are able to get above the golden zone and close it's likely going to come up test that 50 sma come back down for the retest and then move that's likely what's going to happen you'll see this 50 sma turn green and we'll have some nice momentum to get higher and make higher highs and higher lows okay that's what we're looking to do now there's not much else to talk about right because right now we're at a reversal zone we are literally at a reversal zone all right so we need to see if price is going to hold up get in there or reverse we got two trend lines and we have the golden zone right here 50 sma right below price looks really bullish actually it looks like we could have a swing to the upside uh going into tomorrow with some momentum it really does now check this out if we pull a fib from the big move here all right you will see that that 23.6 is literally the top of this golden zone. You see this right here. <clears throat> All right, you see this green line, that's my 23.6. So look, I'm gonna draw this golden zone in here for you, so you see this, this is the golden zone up here on the big move. The bottom side of this golden zone is about 1845, okay? 1845, now the only way that this golden zone will be activated is if we break and close above that 23.6, the same thing down here. We have the fib here, we had a break and a close above that 23.6. I called this out on the channel multiple times. We broke here and closed above the 23.6 and the next candle closed above the 50. That right there is why we're seeing this golden zone right now. On your FIB, if you have the top and the bottom, you draw your golden zone in, wait for a break and close above the 23.6 because that's gonna give you the confirmation you need to know the price is going up to the golden zone. It's not a coincidence that this has happened, okay? And it's not also not a coincidence that the 23.6 line is right on the top of this golden zone for this big move. Like I said, I'll draw it in again so you guys can see this. 23.6 right here at the top of this golden zone. So if we break this golden zone, likely gonna have this golden zone in play. That's just how it works. I would give, I mean, I'm a probability trader. Price action tells me what I need to know. I take pro uh, high probability trades. And it's a high probability. If you go back and back test this theory and this strategy, you will see that every single time you pull a fib and price closes above that 23.6 for a reversal, the next golden zone is in play. That's just how it works. All right, let's check RSI real quick before we take off. I'm trying to make this a quick video. RSI on the one hour time frame approaching overbought, which is why we need to see if we break this inner trend line here, which could take us down like that, all right? 
on the daily time frame rsi looking good right here in the middle about 5178 on the rsi that has room to run okay that's why it's looking very bullish in the next you know early this week you know uh Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday, we might see a close above that golden zone. Next week, we might see a close above the 50, which, you know, like I said, it's gonna take a week or so, but we likely will see this golden zone again. And I don't know if it's gonna be off this move or not. Like I said, I, I don't have a crystal ball. I wish I did. I wish I did, but I don't. So I let price action tell me what's happening and what where price wants to go and where it wants to be, all right? And right now, we're at a reversal zone. You gotta know what you're looking at. These golden zones are reversal zones. So it's not unlikely that it does this, okay? comes down here and retests and goes and then bounces right off that 50 and pushes the price above that 23.6 which activate, activates this golden zone up here all right basic stuff but this stuff works man it's stuff this stuff works i promise you go back and back test these golden zones do it yourself don't take my word for it get on the chart and go see how many times uh the golden zone gets touched when the 23.6 gets broken and closed above on a 30 plus time frame 30 minute plus time frame go check it out all right, that's all I have for you today, guys. All right, we've looked at a few things. Microvision is on a roll, guys. September's coming up. We got the convention. They're open in the office in Germany. Uh, Summit Sharma says we're going to have sales by the end of the year. It all looks and sounds very bullish, all right, especially the price action. We already know we rip out of this zone multiple times here. I'm going to re remove all this stuff. Just look to the left, all right? That's all you got to do. Look to the freaking left. What happens every time we break something like this? We just rip up to the top, right up this way, okay? It's very simple, very easy stuff. Now, that 1932... That's going to give us some uh, some resistance for sure, for sure. It always does. But what happens when we break it? What happens when we break it? The three times we broke in that, that 1932, we broke it three times. Big rip, big rip, big rip. That's what we're looking to do again. Get up here, break, and have that big rip to the upside, all right? Peace and love for Mayan, guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign off of here. We did the recap. Make sure that you like the video, obviously. Hit subscribe on my channel. Hit the notification bell to get notified when I go live. If you want to join the Discord, all the stuff will be in the description box below this video. All right, and like I said, that's all I have for you. Tried to make a real quick video for you guys. Just to let you know what's up, what I think is going to happen. All right, peace and love from my end. Trade Mode James, signing out. Peace.